put the impact of remote peering in traffic delivery of the internet the remote peering on internet routing is of federal university of rio grande in brazil work about remote peering this is a joint work with many colleagues from the University of Rio Grande do Sul in Brazil, the Queen Mary University of London at the United Kingdom, and the University of Waikato in New Zealand. Also, I would like to thank LACNIC and Frida for the support for doing this research. So let me start telling you something that you are probably well aware of it, is that traffic delivery is an increasing complex task of the internet today. You need to handle large volumes of traffic that part of them has a strict service requirement. And to handle that, the AS tend to try to enhance the interconnection capacities and ex expand their footprint. And one alternative for doing that is connecting at the IXPs because IXPs help shorten the interconnection paths and reduce the costs of exchanging traffic. But while the IXPs were originally intended to keep local traffic local by connecting networks that are geographically close to each other, this is not true anymore because we have remote peering. And remote peering is an alternative for ASs that are distant from the IXPs to interconnect to the IXPs with a lower interconnection costs. So for an AS, it's quicker and easier to set up the interconnection. The installation costs are lower compared to like a regular connection to the IXPs and also the hardware requirements for doing that are also uh, smaller. And in fact, there are many IXPs that put this information in their websites about how many countries they cover with their uh, ASs. So for example, Lynx has ASs for, from 81 different countries. And with this large deployment of remote peering, we see that as uh, another challenge for doing traffic engineering. Because some of you may think, OK, I will send my traffic via the IXP, because probably that AIS is closer to me. But if there are AS that are remote to the IXP, probably that would not be a good idea. And one thing that we also <coughs> have identified is that the community has mixed feelings about remote peering. We saw a lot of documents on the internet asking, is remote peering really good? Should we do that? Is that another complex for our interconnection? It looks like trust, but worse. So our goal here is to contribute with data to understand the potential impacts of remote peering on internet routing. And I will cover five different aspects in this presentation. That is some deployment metrics about remote peering, some statistics about the performance of remote routes at IXPs. So we are going to compare, for example, the latency and the AS path length of local and remote routes at the IXP to reach the same prefix. Also, we investigated the stability of the BGP session of local and remote ASs, because given that remote AS tend to use a reseller to reach the XP, so it's another point of failure in the connection. So we evaluated if remote or local connections are more or less stable. We also, at ix.br, we have BGP communities to perform traffic engineering based on latency, so to try to avoid peers that are distant from the IXP infrastructure. So we also evaluated the use of those communities at the IX.BR Sao Paulo. And finally, we investigated possible issues of trombone paths introduced by remote peering. In the case that there are ASs connected to two IXPs, local to one, remote to the other. And for example, two Brazilian ASs are exchanged, exchanging traffic in London, even having remote connections in there. And finally, it's not an, another analysis, but we have developed a portal with all of our, our data so you can access that and analyze the data and also investigate other aspects of remote peering. 
But before going deep, we need to uh, detail some aspects of our research. We use a different vantage points to perform our measurements. So it's ix.br, m6, Lynx, Equinix, and Map Africa. We relied on routing data from PCH, route views, and the Alice looking glasses from some of the IXPs that offered that data for us. Inside each of the IXPs, we have a scamper probe that is offered to us by route views, so we can perform measurements inside the IXP infrastructure to measure, for example, latency to reach the prefixes or the interfaces of the ASs and that our measurement period was a first round in May 2021 and a second round between August, 2000, uh, August and October to, uh, 2022. Also, uh, some other definitions that I need to state here is one about the different types of remote peering because this is always a debate in academia and in industry about what, what exactly is remote peering. And in the academia, we see two types of remote peering. The first type is about the ASs that are connected via a reseller partner of the IXP to reach the IXP. And the other one is about the ASs that are geographically distant from the IXP. So they are, the IXP, for example, is in Sao Paulo, and the ASs are in another state in Brazil, for example. And we have a paper about both types of uh, remote peering and the details, but in this presentation, I will focus on the geographically type of remote peering. Also, we need to do some character classification of our prefixes. So we consider three different types of prefixes in our analysis. First one are local prefixes that are prefixes that are being announced only by local members of the IXP. We have remote prefixes that are the ones being announced only by remote members of the IXPs. And we have a third type of prefix that we call hybrids that are prefix that can be reachable through local and remote IXP members. So starting with our analysis, let's go with the deployment metrics. Here I will show the results for seven different IXPs and perform a comparison between the number of remote interfaces that we have observed between May 2021 and October 2022. So in our first measurement, we observed that there are some IXPs with around 10% of remote members, but there are especially the ones in Brazil like Sao Paulo and Fortaleza where about one third of the members are distant from the IXP. And by distance, we mean that they have a latency of at least 10 milliseconds between our vantage point inside the IXP infrastructure and the interface of their border router that is exchanging routes with the uh, IXP route server. And when we did that measurement again, but in October last year, we have observed for all the IXPs a slightly increase in the number of remote interfaces. So it seems that in one year and a half, more or less, there is a little bit of increasing in the number of remote members at those IXPs, those seven IXPs that we have analyzed. And the second part of this first analysis is about the number of remote prefixes that we observed at those IXPs. And by remote prefix here, we are considering all the prefixes that are being announced via our remote interface, including the hybrid prefix, because the hybrid prefixes are also being announced by the remote, uh, remote interface. So in our first measurement, for some IXPs like Rio de Janeiro or Equinix Chicago, the, there was a small number of remote prefixes, while in other ones such as Fortaleza we have about one quarter of the prefixes as a re remote prefixes. And when we did that analysis again in October 2022, for most of the IXPs we observed a decreasing in the number of remote prefixes. And for links we have observed a increasing. And for 
NAP Africa and Wekunix Chicago, while the fraction was smaller, the absolute number was higher. Our guess here for this decreasing in most of the XPs is because when discussing with some operators, they told us that usually ASs first start at the XPs with a remote connection, and after that they become like a regular member or they have more prefixes and then they need a more uh, stable connection, for example, and then th that's why we assume that there was this decreasing in the number of prefixes. The second part of this analysis, we are going to focus on the hybrid prefixes, so those prefixes where we have uh, uh, the ability to reach them via a local and a remote interface, and we are going to check which one is faster, because usually people may think, okay, remote is faster, but that's not the case. So here, I'm going to show the results for these four different IXPs. So it's Link, IM6, Equinix Ashburn, and Equinix Chicago. So in our first line, we have the number of hybrid prefixes in each of those IXPs. And we have four different possibilities for this analysis, that is, that the remote peer to reach that prefix has lower latency, lower I RTT compared to the local one, but a longer path, or the paths are the same size, or that the latency of the local peer is smaller, but the path is longer, and the latency of the local peer is smaller, and the AS path length is the same for both the local and the remote peer. And the most interesting part here is that in all the IXPs, the local alternative has a lower latency for those hybrid prefixes, but the AS path length is longer, which means that probably by the tie-breaking criteria of BGP, they would select the remote alternative because the AS path length is shorter, instead of selecting the one with lower latency because we all know that BGP does not offer any information for us about latency. But then we will comment a little bit more about this. And then the next part of our analysis is about the stability of the BGP sessions. And our hypothesis here is that most of the remote peers will have like a reseller between the AS and the IXP. So we decided to investigate if BGP sessions of remote members are more or less stable than the sessions of local members. And we performed this analysis for the three different Brazilian XPs that we were analyzing, that's Rio de Janeiro, Sao Paulo, and Fortaleza, as well as for Lynx London. And during the period of two months, we collected information from the looking glass about the state of the BGP sessions every 15 minutes. So it's kind of okay, we may be missing something, but it's every 15 minutes. And we asked ourselves two different questions. The first one is the uptime between failures of those interfaces. So if an interface changes state from up to down at the looking glass, and also the number of state changes over time. And here we have the results for the first analysis and where the purple uh, boxes represented the local interfaces and the green boxes represents the remote interfaces, and we can observe that in all cases, the purple boxes are above the green boxes, which means that the local interfaces have higher uptimes than the local, sorry, that the local interfaces have higher uptimes than the remote ones. And when we check about the number of state changes of those interfaces, it's the opposite, we can see that the green boxes are above the purple boxes, indicating that, in general, the remote interfaces faced more changes in the states of the BGP sessions in the course of those two months that we have analyzed the data. And if you remember when I was talking about the performance implications of remote peering, I told you that there were no information on BGP about the latency to reach a given route. But 
That's not the case anymore depending on the IXP you are connected. So, for instance, since March 2022, IX.BR is offering BGP communities for traffic engineering based on latency. So, there are com every route is tagged with the latency between the IXP infrastructure and the router of the AS. And you can also perf control the propagation of your route based on some latency criteria. For example, there are communities for no export if latency is higher than X, or add X prepends if latency is higher than X. So if you know that someone is remote, you can kind of avoid those guys at the XP. Now we have those communities at the Brazilian infrastructure. So we decided to analyze, are the ASs connected to Sao Paulo using those BGP communities for traffic engineering? We collected data from IX.PR Sao Paulo on the 17th of January 2023. And the results were kind of okay for us, but not what we are expecting. So we identified a few cases of ASs using those communities. So there are like, for, for example, prepend owns if RTT is higher than 10 milliseconds, we observed that community around 5,000 times, for example. And the second most, po the, there are like the two most popular about prepending if latency is higher than something. Then there are the no export if latency is higher than something. But this is like only 0.27% of the communities that we have observed at the IXP. It's not that much. And in fact, if we check how many ASs are using those communities, at least in that day that we did the analysis, there were only 11 ASs out of more than 2,000 members of IXBR.Sao Paulo. So we believe this is something that is really good for the operators, but maybe they are not, not taking the proper advantage of, those feature, that, of that feature that IX.PR is offering to them. And then the last analysis that I will present here is about possible routing issues that remote peering may introduce on the internet. So let's assume a scenario where we have two different IXPs. It's IX.PR in Brazil and Lynx in London. And that there are two Brazilian ASs. They are both connected to the Brazilian IXP via a local connection, and they are both connected to the Lynx IXP via a remote connection. And of course, there are other members at the IXPs, but we are mostly interested in the Brazilian ones because that's our example. And let's assume here that the Brazilian AS at the top is going to announce its prefixes. And at the Brazilian XP, he's announcing a slash 23, like, like xyz.0 slash 23. And at Lynx, it's announcing xyz.0 slash 24. So the other Brazilian AS at the bottom, what's going to happen is that probably it will prefer the more specific one, because that's how BGP selects the routes. Of course, they could implement some filters to avoid this kind of situation, but in general, it will select the more specific one. So two ASs in Brazil are going to exchange traffic in London instead of exchanging traffic in Brazil. So this looks like a hypothetical scenario. But then we decided to let's check our routing data and identify if this is happening or not. So here we have like some bars that are not all the cases. They are, these, are, these are the top ones where the first IXP is the remote one and the second IXP is the local one. For example, for the first bar, Lynx is the remote and IX.BR Rio de Janeiro is the, where the AS is local. And we identified like 37,000 cases, 37,000 prefixes where this is happening. So. You are connected to a local place and a remote one, and you are advertising your more specific prefixes at the remote location. 
And of course, there could be an explanation for that. Maybe it's some traffic engineering aspect that we are not aware of because every network has its own, the, its own needs. And another thing that we have identified in here is that in six out of the eight top cases, it's involving some of the Brazilian XPs. In fact, there are two cases from Sao Paulo, two cases from Rio, and two cases for Fortaleza in the top eight of our analysis. And the last part of this presentation is about something that we did to make all this data available to you and operators and other researchers that want to check this data. So there is a web portal with all the data and all the analysis that I have presented in here. And there are a lot of different dashboards with the evolution of the number of member, remote members, number of remote prefix, and all this different stuff. So I encourage you to check that and please provide me feedback so we can improve our platform. So you can scan this QR code and then you be on the on our uh, platform and to summarize like everything in our findings here first regarding deployment we have identified an increasing number of remote interfaces at the IXPs but we face slightly decreasing the number of remote routes we also identified that despite having higher latencies, the remote routes tend to be preferred because the AS path is shorter. Also that remote interfaces are less stable and less available than the local ones for the period of our measurement and the IXPs that we have investigated this. In the case of the Brazilian IXP where there is the ability of adding BGP communities to control route propagation based on latency. There are only a few ASs using that feature. We identified 37,000 possible issues in BGP announcements. We are calling them possible issues because there could be a reason behind that. And finally, we developed a portal with all the data available. And if you, want, if you are from an XP and you want to see some measurements from you, you are, you are an XP in our platform, get in touch. We only need a vantage point inside the XP to perform some measurements and routing information about the XP. And finally, uh, again, here's the QR code to access our portal. Uh, we also have a paper with the results of this uh, research that you can scan this other QR code to get the link. And with that, I conclude this talk and more than happy to take your questions. Feel free to ask in Portuguese, English, or Spanish. I will do my best to understand Spanish. Thank you, Pedro. Alguna pregunta, Sala? Are there any questions here in the room? There are no questions. E, there's there's a question here in the room. Roads that could be optimized, and um, you have communities to add one, two, or three uh, prepends. Wouldn't it be better to have uh, a default of one uh, ASN prepended of for each of the remote? Uh, peerings and give them an opportunity to do zero prepends. So the default would be a longer uh, prefix, uh, but you can change that? I'm not sure if I get your question. Like, you are saying that about having a community to prepend to all remotes or not? No, I, I say uh, if the IX would prepend uh, incoming and outgoing prefixes, for each of the remote connections without doing anything. But if you prefer that your prefixes will not be uh, prepended, then you could... Oh, you, a, you, you mean the opposite. So change, change the default so that each remote connection would be longer. Yeah, but... Would that be would but, that but, correct? But in that case, the IXP is going to take an action in something that's not the responsibility of the IXP. So because the uh, 
the role of the IXP is not to make route decisions for others. So if the IXP is going to prepare to everyone, that's uh, changing the routing. So I don't believe about that, but Julio probably can Thanks. also answer that. Hi, Pedro. Congratulations for the presentation. Thank Very you. interesting. You can talk later about the details. But uh, I, I want to, to ask if you have the opportunity to check if the hour measurement of latency are accurate. If your measurement is according to our measurement. Yes. Yeah, we haven't checked that, but we can do that. Oh, it's, it, it's easy for us. Okay, no hay más preguntas. Thank you very much. Pedro, aplauso, por favor. There are no more questions. Thank you very much. A round of applause. So now we call 